Do you want to lead your team to success? Do you want a promotion? Are you tired of people ignoring you? Or perhaps you just want more trust and respect? Hey Brainwash friends, I'm Aaron Tupaz of Positively Brainwashed, and today I'm excited to teach you the five steps of leadership by John Maxwell. First, what does it mean to be a leader? Well, in a nutshell, leadership simply means influence. So if you want to increase your leadership ability, then you need to increase your influence ability. Now, according to John Maxwell, there are five levels of leadership and the level you'll be in will be different with everyone. So let's get started. The first level is position. In this stage, people follow you only because of your title. You are given a position, usually by the company, and you're a leader only because you're the boss a manager, or an experienced colleague. Everyone has had a boss or perhaps a leader in some sports team or activity who you had to follow but wasn't a good leader. You hate it because you see farther than what they see or know more than what they know. It's really not any fun. Now it's not bad to be in the first level. It's the foundation and everybody starts here. You just probably don't want to stay here and you want to build on top of this. Now the second level is permission. This level can be summarized by the word relationship. People follow you not because they have to, but because they want to. If people like you, they will go the second mile with you. They may come in early for a project or stay later because they have a relationship with you. So you need to work hard to improve your people skill. You need to touch a heart before you touch a hand. Remember, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Now, this is a nice stage to be in, but we can do better. For the third level is the production level. Do you walk the walk or do you just talk the talk? Because in this stage, people follow you because you produce results for your organization or team. Think of Steve Jobs returning to Apple and increasing profits in their bottom line. Now it's important to remember that while you're in level 3, you are still in levels 1 and 2. You can't just neglect those because you started producing results. Otherwise, you'll fall down in leadership level. Now a lot of companies stop at level 3. They think increasing profits and morale is all they need. But there's an even higher level. And that is level 4, which is the people development level. In this level, you are creating other leaders. Here, you are now reproducing yourself again and again. You all know the saying, if you give people fish, you feed them for just a day. Teach people how to fish and you feed them for life. In this level, people follow you because of what you've done for them. You've helped them improve their influence abilities and helped them reach their goals. And because of that, they'll credit all their accomplishments and success to you. And as a result, you will exponentially increase your influence. Now remember, in level 2, you should like each other. In level 4, you're having success and experience together. Have stories to tell. Have victories and battles that you've won together. You should really try to aim and reach this level. And it's a fantastic level, but it's not actually the top. See, level one is given to you by the company, but levels two, three, and four, you must earn. And if you do the three correctly, that is relate with people, produce results, and if you develop others, level five will be given to you by the people. And level five is called personhood which can be summarized by the word respect. People follow you because of who you are and what you represent. You have done it with so many people for so long that you find people are lifting you on their shoulders, almost like what a team does for a winning coach after they win a championship. So do the first four levels well, and level five is automatic. Now here are seven points to note about these five steps. The higher you go, the longer it takes to get to the next step. 
So if it takes you two months to get to level two, it might take you six months to get to level three, maybe two years to get to level four, and level five might take you five years. Number two, the higher you go, the higher the level of commitment. And this goes both ways, your commitment to the people and theirs to you. Number three, the higher you go, the easier it is to lead. Number four, the higher you go, the greater your success. You exponentially become more profitable. Number five is to remember you never leave a level below. You build on it. If you ignore a level you produced, it will pull you down. Number six, as a leader, you won't be on the same level with all your people. If you have 100 people in your company, they all start at level one. When you go to level two, there will be some who stay at level one. So maybe 80 of them will go with you to level two. Level three, 60 people will come with you. The higher you go, the less people you'll usually have with you. So number seven, you must work to carry other leaders with you up the steps. You have to take your key leaders, your inner circle, up with you. So to summarize, remember, relate to people, produce, and develop. These are your three goals. It's the blueprint. And before you know it, you'll have reached the pinnacle of leadership. And even better, you'll have helped others reach it too. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then you can either A, subscribe and hit the bell button, B, listen to the share bear over there and show that you care, C, watch this video that YouTube is recommending for you, or D, let the zombie have some fun.